Okay, we are live. Thank you everybody for joining me for this week's medical sales live stream. So today I have on a top, I'm going to be covering a topic that I have covered in the past. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. There we go. <laughs> so um, I covered this topic before, but I've had some questions come up. We've had some really good successes in this arena. So I wanted to share this opportunity with everyone. And that's creating waiting room loops. So this is a little bit outside the, the norm of, of things that we normally cover on this medical sales live stream. But waiting room loops are becoming increasingly popular. I'm sure you guys have seen them since you've been in practices. And there's good reason for that. So today's live stream, I'm going to cover what you should be including in a waiting room loop if you're going to be helping some of your clients create a loop. And I'm going to explain why you should be helping your clients create a loop. So, okay. So first off, why should you be promoting waiting room loops? Well, this is a big trend in medical sales. What we've seen, I work with a lot of clients, and what we've seen increasingly, especially since the start of COVID, is they're looking for ways to help their doctors not only bring them great products, great services that are going to help their patients, but you really have to square that circle. And to be successful, you have to show those clinics, show those doctors how you can help them be successful with those products and services by giving them marketing materials and videos and things like that, things that they will need to successfully promote this within their own patient database. So this can help your clients get patients. This also establishes your physicians as a trusted resource, or I'm sorry, this establishes you as a trusted resource as their medical sales professional. And this is a way to separate yourself from the pack. I don't know any other medical sales reps out there who are really promoting waiting room loops, even though when I personally talk to doctors, for the most part, they're interested in it. They're, they're willing to hear me out and they know that this is something that they need. So this is a way that you could differentiate yourself, separate yourself from the pack. And also this is a way that you could increase your sales of residual income products. If you have a product or service that you're getting paid every time that doctor uses it, then it's in your best interest as well to promote this to their patients. Okay, so the clinics, how do they benefit? I noticed this a, wh a while back. I, I've been in the medical industry for a couple decades now. And when I first got into pharmaceutical sales, some practices had that CNN Accent Health in their practice, and they would earn a little bit of money by putting that on. Most practices would have on cable news or The Price is Right or a soap opera or something. But all those daytime TV um, shows or whatever, they're all promoting drug companies. If you watch the advertisements, they're promote half the ads are drug ads. And these doctors are unwittingly, they're, they're not getting paid, but they're promoting drug companies. So this is a way to use those screens in their practice as a vehicle to help themselves. And it's easier to do this than ever. It's not like the old days where you'd have to go get uh, professional video uh, production companies and you know figure out the technology and everything. Now everybody streams everything. So it's very easy to put something like this together. And But clinics will also benefit because this creates a bottom-up demand while this is fresh in the patient's mind, it's one thing to advertise to a patient now and they're coming in for a visit two weeks from now. It's a different thing to advertise something to a patient when five minutes from now, they're gonna be talking to the doctor. You're gonna have much higher success rate. It's also a great way to educate patients on important topics. So video loops, obviously they're gonna have some things about sales and promotion, but they should also have a lot of educational things, things, points that they wanna get across to their, to their patients. And finally, the video loops are not single purpose. Those videos can be repurposed and used on their websites. It can be used for their social media and email promotions. It goes way beyond that, but there's a lot of things that they can do to repurpose those videos and get a lot of mileage out of them. But these are the types of videos. If you do talk to a physician, they say, well, I wouldn't have any idea what to put in a video loop. This is what you should be telling them. Number one, educational videos. Education videos, could be something to, I'll give you an example. I have a men's health clinic that I work with. We do every week, we publish a one minute men's health tip. It could be something like that. Little videos that uh, explain different things about testing procedures or 
uh, recommendations for screenings or, um, you know, it, it really is dependent upon what the specialty is and what that specific focus is for that doctor. But anything education, uh, you could just ask your doctor, what's something that you wish all your patients knew or something you would like to educate patients on? Okay, boom. Well, that's what we'll make content around. Also, any services that they have, obviously those get mixed in. You're offering some cool new uh, cash pay service, or maybe it is covered by insurance. Regardless, any type of any type of product or service that they're promoting that's of high value to the practice, that it's worth it for them to promote it, or any deals that they have. I have a clinic right now, they're running a deal on um, things for facial aesthetics and they're running a special and it's good through Labor Day. It's like their summertime special. So boom, you should put in a summertime special uh, video advertisement in the middle. Patient spotlights, these work awesome. A patient spotlight literally would just be a short interview with a patient who's benefited from a specific treatment, or it could just be a patient testimonial about the actual practice. But any kind of patient spotlight that shows the hero's journey, here's where I was, I went to Dr. So-and-so and they were able to fix me up and now I'm doing much better. That's basically the story arc. But if you can um, help the doctor procure a few of those, those do very well in video loops. And then of course, staff spotlight too. So people do business with people they like. You want the patients to be have a level of comfort with the staff. And this is another way that you can establish that level of comfort is by having a little spotlight on, maybe it's a medical assistant, maybe it's a biller, maybe it's a provider, a doctor, it doesn't matter, but having those little spotlights in there that helps the patients get to know them a little bit better. And more importantly, what motivates them, why they're in the field that they're in and, and what they're hoping to get out of it and how they're um, hoping to help each patient. And then finally, uh, patient reviews. Believe it or not, this works awesome. So there's a trick to how we do this, but basically we can set up a um, patient review uh, static video that has a QR code. So if they're sitting in the waiting room, that patient clicks that QR code that will automatically link them to the review sites. And you don't have to explain to doctors how important their uh, patient reviews are. They all know it, they're vitally important and the more positive patient reviews they can get, the better. So that's another great resource for them of a type of video that they can mix into their video loops. All right, so how can you help them? Well, most doctors have no idea how to put these together. And there are some companies out there who do it, but I've looked into it. They cost an absolute fortune you can go in and offer them something that is significantly less. I'm talking, um, you know, in the 10 to 20% of what their costs would be hiring a professional uh, video production company. And they can get something that looks pretty good and it could be tailored around their products and services. So just by lending them a hand and say, hey, look, I actually know how to put these together or at least you have the resources to put these together. Would you want to take a look at maybe putting a video loop together um, that will help educate your patients and also highlight some of the things that you're doing here at the practice, as well as highlight some of the, the staff and the patients and get you some more positive um, patient reviews. Would that be interesting to you? They're going to be, you're going to find a willing audience. And then from there, we interview that practice, or you can interview the practice and talk about some of the stuff that they're doing so that you can customize the content based upon their parameters. What specialty are they in? Do they have a particular focus? Are they doing other types of ancillary services that they wanna highlight? Um, is there something that's unique about their geographic area? Um, what about the age of their, their population? All the, their patient population, all those things would be taken into consideration. And then we can help you guys put together a video loop uh, for their specific requirements. Another question I get a lot is, well, how long should a video loop be? As a rule of thumb, we make the video loops that are about one and a half times the average length for a um, uh, patient sitting in a waiting room. So hopefully, you know, patients are there no more than 10 minutes in a waiting room. So if, if it is a 10 minute average wait time, then you would make a 15 minute video. You don't want to have a video where it repeats every 90 seconds. Uh, it's gonna annoy the patients and it's gonna drive the staff crazy who has to hear this then 30 times an hour or whatever. So make it long enough that they're 
Um, they're not going to be watching a continuous loop over and over, but you don't want to make it too long where they miss out on some of the stuff that you know the doctor wants to get across. Okay, so in closing, if you guys need any help in this arena, I actually just wrote a blog. So if you go to the website, gnosis.team, you can call us there. That's the phone number. There is a blog on there that you can share with your doctors, and it is all about everything that I just spoke about here, uh, what to include in a waiting room loop. But uh, this is a great way for you guys to make commission, not, not just on the products and services, like, uh, like I told you, through creating a, a bottom-up demand, but also we pay commissions on anybody that you hook us up with that needs help with their video loop. So we can help you uh, through the whole process. It's residual income a lot of times because they want updated videos. So it's a nice little source of residual income for you as well as the sales rep. So with that, I am gonna go ahead and close it down. So I'm right on schedule here. Thank you everyone for listening and hope to hear from you guys soon. All right, take care everyone.